Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a calendar and the events for it. From Manage Calendars area, you can uh, start using the default one or you can create a new one by clicking Add New Button. For each calendar you have uh, Settings, Events List, Delete, Duplicate and uh, Preview options. In uh, Settings area, you have general settings, you have options for uh, dimensions, for colors, you can also uh, translate some um, text in case you are using a different language than, uh, than English for your website. Left side or uh, top uh, calendar, uh, you have the option to have a full uh, calendar on the left side of your uh, events list. Here you have uh, each event displayed. Uh, also you can set it uh, um, to, to show uh, a top uh, version. In this case the left uh, calendar will not be displayed and the more compact uh, uh, navigation system uh, will appear uh, on top of the events list. Uh, details area. Now to add uh, an event, you'll go to manage calendars, you'll go to events list and click add new. We'll add an event title uh, from uh, the live preview example. Uh, let's select a start date, 11, 9 o'clock and uh, 30. For uh, the end date, let's say the next day at uh, 11, 15. Uh, the event address. <clears throat> Sorry. Now uh, upload image. You will upload from media library your uh, event uh, image. Add some details for uh, for uh, the event. Of course, you'll add your own information. Now I'll just put some uh, lorem ipsum. The organizer uh, logo and some uh, information about. Uh, the organizer, the dress code, you can add uh, the dress code you want and you also have the option to set uh, an event cancelled in case uh, the event was cancelled. Now add record, back to playlist, you'll see our event displayed here. For each event you have the option uh, to delete it, duplicate it or uh, click here to edit the, the options, uh, the information, sorry. Now let's duplicate an event and uh, add a second one. We'll copy uh, the title. Now we'll change the date, let's say 22. 24 the event image of course you can uh, change all the information and for uh, the third one let's take this title and uh, let's say it's at the end of the month change the image and update. Let's preview it. Here you have the three uh, events defined. On the left side you have uh, the dates highlighted, the events, the event dates highlighted. Here you have the navigation to go to the next or uh, previous month and also uh, the search uh, option. 
to search an event in the events list. Uh, for this menu, you can also uh, um, s uh, click the year and uh, select a, a month. Now, uh, if you uh, set uh, cancel for uh, for an event, it will uh, appear like this. I'll uh, also show you how uh, it will look for uh, with the top navigation. So in the settings area, you'll go to left top uh, options, left side or top uh, options. We'll click false. We'll select false for it, update. And now when you'll preview it, you'll see that the left uh, side navigation has been uh, replaced with the top navigation, a more uh, compact uh, system. We'll uh, put it back as it was. Uh, to insert it into your page or post, you'll go to manage uh, calendars, you'll copy the shortcode, you'll go to the page or post where you want to appear, to appear the, the calendar, you'll click edit, and uh, you'll just paste the shortcode update and uh, view page. And here you have it with uh, the three uh, calendars.